Okay, so uh, this is a short video of store mini storage in Urington, Nevada. It's currently for sale. Uh, I'm just going to run a quick run through of the facility so you guys can all see it. Uh, right here, these cars going by, this is Highway 339. It's the major highway through town here. Uh, this is our facility here. So I'm not going to do much talking, I'm just going to walk around a little bit and show you uh, the facility. As you can see, it's um, about 90% fenced in. We do leave the gates open, however, local law enforcement uh, helps us patrol the facility uh, with random patrols, so that really helps us out. There's our sign and our contact information. You can also get a hold of us at store-it mini storage LLC and charter up. Again, S-T-O-R-I-T mini storage LLC at charter.net. This is our center aisle here. Um, it's got both sizes of units in there. Uh, most of our units here are 10 by 10s, 10 by 15s, and 10 by 20s. The facility takes up one entire city block. This is the south east corner of the facility, 1st Avenue and 2nd Street North. This side here is unfenced. The fence could be added if you desired. A lot of people over here uh, don't really mind that it's not fenced. And actually some of the tenants live in these houses right here that surround the facility. So it's really easy for them to get into their units because they're right here. Just walk down the east side here. With the exception of the, the street right here, or right next to the street rather. The entire facility is either blacktop or concrete. This section here is pretty much just a road-based material, but right up next to the unit is concrete. On the west side of the facility, it is open for outside storage. Um, the north side up here, we do have a couple of tenants that are outside storage that have been outside for many, many years. Um, on the west side, currently we don't have anybody out there, but it's perfect parking for uh, motorhomes, travel trailers, stuff like that. Uh, we actually had uh, Bonnie Plant Farms, it's a vegetable grower, they, plant, they parked some of their semi-trucks here during the spring of last year. As we get up here to the northwest east corner, you can see the two outside storages we have here on this side of the building. And this is looking back down that whole side there. The, one of the tenants here, where you see that black Corvette, he actually lives in Hawaii. Hasn't been here in several years. So here's looking back down that center aisle now from the north side of the facility. There's a couple of units here on the end. These end units are 10 by 10s. And if you have emailed me and asked for the layout of the facility and things like that, just to give you an idea, the, the, the facility is laid out 
so that the two units you see here on your right, I'll get here on the other side of the fence, the two closest to us here on the right, uh, number one would be the one right here. This is unit number one. This is unit number two. Again, my contact information. And then unit number three, four, five, six, seven, on and so on. And then the numbers wrap around the next aisle. To the right here, this little gravel spot uh, where this truck is parked. Kind of gives you an idea of how much room you actually have for several RVs, um, semi trucks, whatever you need. And then outside the fence there is that Highway 339 that I mentioned earlier, the main highway. So again, if you have any questions, please give me a call. There's the phone number, 775-782-6048 or store it mini storage LLC at charter.net. S-T-O-R dash I-T mini storage LLC at charter.net. Facility is for sale, does turn a decent profit every month. Give me a call or email with any more questions. Thank you.